What's going on, guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure. It's time to take a look at what's been selling out of the eBay store. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. So this one, we got a bunch, guys. It's big. It was too big to run in the morning as a premiere. This one had to be in prime time. We've got a lot of them here, partly because we didn't do a what sold on Friday. And so there's some ground that we've got to make up here. But we also had a really, really good weekend, including that massive box that you saw in the thumbnail. We're going to tell you what's in that box. But let's run these things down. And then at the end, keep it right here, because at the end, we're going to be giving away that t-shirt that we had you enter for you. All you had to do was comment on one of our previous videos, a particular video. We are going to run that through a, uh, a random comment picker, and you're going to find out here at the end of this who wins that free Mountain Man t-shirt. Uh, if you don't win, though, there is a link down below. If you want to buy one, let me know. Um, let's just jump right in, and if you tuned into a What Sold expecting to not be inundated with Barbies, sorry. There's a lot of Barbies in this one, but they're good sales. So these are things you want to keep an eye out for. I've actually heard from a couple of people saying, hey, thanks for the Barbie stuff, because now I know to look for it. Or there's there's a couple of people that have sold some. Uh, so good money in Barbies, guys, as you are about to see in the first sale that we've got. This Nigerian Barbie sold for $28.63. It is going to the UK, that part of the Dolls of the World collection. There's more coming up from that collection, you'll see. Then another really good sale. This one we picked up in the summer and held on to for a while. I knew eventually it was going to come around to the right season and it was going to sell for a good price. We paid $25 for this guy and it sold for $134.99 through the global shipping program. Typically, I, I ship things either direct or through eBay Standard International. This is when I didn't, and so I had that listing set to global shipping. I probably would have anyway because it's heavier, a little bit bulky. So that's, frankly, the best option for that stuff if you want to try and sell it internationally. This going to Norway, this uh, ski do snowmobile helmet. Then we've got another Barbie, this Francie. Sold this for 115 euros. This is going to Germany. And after we pay shipping and fees, this comes out to right about 98 bucks, like 97, 98 bucks that we make. And remember, on all of these Barbie sales now, 100% in the profit. So we keep everything we make off of these Barbies. And then this Goosebumps book went for $6.49, free media mail shipping. And it went to a YouTube friend. This is a girl being frugal on YouTube. You guys may have heard or seen that name before. Go check that out. She said, uh, you know, she wanted to support the channel a little bit and also relive some childhood memories because she loved these books. So I, I hope you really enjoy that book. It's a cool one. Then we jump back into Barbie's Francie, the 30th anniversary edition. This one going to Spain for 29 bucks plus international shipping. You'll see a theme here, as you've seen in the previous What Solds with the Barbies. There is a worldwide market for collectors for these things. So if you're not selling internationally, you're doing yourself a disservice. There's a lot of money to be made, and by and large, they're fantastic customers. Now another Barbie, this totally yo-yo Courtney, actually sold to a buyer named Courtney, spelled differently, actually. No you in their name. I'd never seen that before. This sold for $35 plus shipping. And then Elvis and Priscilla at the wedding. This went to a YouTube friend as well. $55 to Carolyn. Carolyn said, you know what? We missed the Adams family. We didn't want to miss another one. So this one going out to Carolyn. Thank you so much for that purchase. This is a really cool piece. I hope you enjoy it. And then we sold plush. Shout out to Chris, the Cajun reseller. That man is the plush king, I think. He sells a lot of plush and toys on Mercari. I think I'm 50 cents into this, and it sold it. It sat around for a long time, but eventually sold for $13.25 plus shipping. And then Mortimer Snurd, one of our dollhouse pickups. Always feels good to be validated on price on these things. I said, hey, I think this is going to sell for about $40. I priced it a little bit higher. But then I got an offer for $40, and I accepted it. So $40 bucks plus shipping on this guy. Then we sold a pair of chinos, these blue penguins, new with tags. I paid $3 for these. I think it was a half off at Goodwill. They sat around for a little while, but they also went international, 30 
great British pounds for those. And Grady Sizemore, the bobblehead. I got a whole bunch of bobbleheads this summer at various garage sales. I, I typically pay about a dollar a piece. This one had been sitting around. I didn't have a box for it or anything. And I had it listed at 12 or $14 something. It's been sitting around. Somebody sent me an offer of eight plus shipping and we took that. We'll take a couple bucks, clear out the space and move on to the next one. Then these Nike Flex women's running shoes. These were really cool shoes. Picked these up at, uh, where was it? It was at the Toys for Tots sale, actually. It was a July 4th weekend this past summer. Toys for Tots sale. Found these sitting there. I think I paid two bucks for them and accepted an offer of $40 plus shipping. Then just in time for the holiday, there's a vintage Valentine's Day card with the raccoon on the front. Really cool card. Got this along with a whole bunch of other ephemera from an estate sale. We're well into the profit on these. $10.47. Free shipping, but obviously that went out pretty light. Masters of the Universe. This was a re-release from Walmart. If you got in on the very front end of this, these were selling for fantastic money. I got in too late and I sold one, I think, at a good profit and then they've basically been sitting around. So I've been lowering the price, just trying to clear them out. And this one sold, actually, I think I've sold three of them to Australia now. I might have one left. I'm not sure uh, if it's still sitting around and at Christmas time. It's probably going to get donated. But uh, we got 37.83 Australian dollars out of this. And the Australian dollar is only about 76 cents or something right now. So we probably broke even on this is all bad buy on that. The 68 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Sold one of the Hot Wheels again. This one for $3.99 plus shipping. And then this one, you can see the listing, Custom Barbie Lot. What happened is I had a buyer, an international buyer, message me and say, hey, I'm interested in multiple Barbies. I'm interested in this one, this one, this one, and this one. Can we make a deal on them? And so we, we traded messages through the eBay app, through the system, and you can do that. Uh, we're not, you know, they, they don't like you to take things off of eBay, but you can talk through there just fine. And I said, you know what? Okay, so here's the total price of what they would be. What would you offer me? They offered me 155 bucks for the four. And essentially they were asking for about 10 or 12 bucks off is all, which is not bad at all. So with international shipping, it's a little bit different when you combine orders. And so what I did is I said, hey, tell you what, I'm going to pull all of these off and then I will make a new listing for you. I'll put a high price on there. I think I put it at like $500 or something, something very high. And I will send them. You can't send a link through the eBay messaging system, but you can send the title. So I said, look, I'll put all four of them in there. We agreed on 155 plus shipping. I'll send you the exact title once I have that listed. So all you have to do is type in the title. It'll bring it up. Send me an offer for 155 and it's yours. And that's what they did right away. And so we sold Totally Hair Ken. We also sold Sun Sensation Barbie and then Bubble Angel Barbie, one that I actually thought was going to sit around for a little bit. And then a pretty good one here, Secret Hearts Gift Set. This That one was uh, probably about 80 bucks on its own. That one was a really good one. And they got all four, and those are headed off to France for $155 plus shipping again all profit. Then back to the dolls of the world, Nigerian Barbie, 36.86, great British pounds. That one going to the UK, 36.86 is right about $50, a little bit more than that. So after fees, after shipping, we make uh, about 23, 24 bucks thereabouts. Pretty good. And then we sold this one. We barely made anything, but this is a face saver head cover for an iron, sold it for $4.99 free shipping. Obviously there's not much there, right? But if you caught the video, this is where we got a whole pile of free stuff from the golf course. Uh, a lot of head covers. I still have some clubs to list and a golf bag. The golf bag itself is going to go for about 75 or 80 bucks, I think. Uh, I've just got to get around to listing some of that. We've been stuck in Barbies lately. Uh, but these head covers have been selling for $5, 10 $15. We're running out. I actually sold two more today. That'll be on an upcoming video. I've only got two or three left. So we're making pretty good money off of these free head covers. This one, really probably the least valuable out of all of them. But, you know, everything adds up. This is a really cool hat, Green Bay Packers, like zebra stripe. I couldn't find another one like it. I picked up a watcher. I had it listed at $16 and change, and I sent an offer of $14.99 plus shipping, and they took that. So I, I like selling hats, especially 
in the off season. I mean, the Packers are out. So I kind of thought I'd be sitting on the Packers hats for a while. I've sold a couple since they got knocked out of the playoffs. So that was really nice. This Cruella de Vil Barbie. This is the second of these that we've sold for 55, 50 euros. This one going to Germany. So when it's all said and done, we make about 40 bucks. Not bad. I've still got two more of these to sell. Then we sold another individual Goosebump book, this one for $3.99 plus shipping. You can sell these things by themselves, but they tend to do better in lots. We talked about that when I sold off the, the big pile of them. The thing is, I had a couple duplicates in there. So those I pulled out listed by themselves, and now we've sold a couple. But if you find the Goosebumps books, the vintage ones in particular, they will sell some of them for very good money. If you find like the first, say, five in the series, they'll sell really well at auction and a lot. Individually, you're only making a couple bucks and they may take a while. So I priced these to move and uh, we made a couple bucks. And how hard is it to slap that in a padded mailer and put it in the mailbox? Pretty easy. And this one really cool. This one is a, an eBay arbitrage. So just goes to show there are other ways for you to source if you know what you're looking for. And this is a Dick Van Dyke 8x10 autographed photo. I paid, I, this was at an auction and it was ending at a goofy time and I just had a feeling like this would be worth a little bit more. And every once in a while I do that, I like selling autograph photos and I, I pick them up time and again. And this one I thought, you know what, I can get this cheap and it's going to sell well. So I picked it up for $27 plus I think I paid $5 for shipping. Okay, so we're $32 in. Well, it sold to somebody in Canada. They paid $66.99 plus international shipping to Canada. So we basically doubled our money. I am good with that. This Captain America jersey, I picked this up for a couple bucks at Goodwill. Not necessarily a very good buy. It sat around for a while. Eventually, I sent out an offer of $12.24 plus shipping, and the buyer accepted that. So we made a few bucks, but really, and this was one where I saw the comps didn't look great, but I thought it was a good enough size that it would overcome that. Obviously, it eventually sold and we made a couple bucks, but I probably wouldn't waste my time in the future. The Vision Quest soundtrack, this was part of a bundle that we made at a garage sale. We piled a whole bunch of video games and other stuff together, and I just grabbed a couple of cassette tapes, a couple of soundtracks, this one with Madonna on it, and uh, actually pretty decent soundtrack. And it did sell $6.99, free shipping, but it's media mail, and so we made a couple bucks on that. Then we're back into the Barbies, the United Colors of Benetton Barbie, this one going international, $36.60 plus, this one through this uh, eBay Standard International Delivery, it going to the UK. Then I picked up this, another eBay arbitrage. I picked up a bunch of Albert Pujols. I saw them priced pretty low. low. These uh, Albert Pujols rookie cards right here. I got two different sets from the same buyer. Uh, I, I th They're not super high end, but he had them priced pretty low. And I thought I could sell them for more, especially because Pujols was on the edge of starting to move up on some of the all-time record lists before the season is when I got these. Um, so I sent him an offer on all of them that he had. I, I think I bought like eight or nine. So I can't remember. I bought a big pile of all of them that he had to wipe them out and he accepted it. So I've long been in the profit on these. I've been selling them for between 15 and $18 a piece. This is free shipping, but it's fine. It's obviously very light. So this Pujols Peoria Chiefs rookie card went out for an offer somebody sent in for $15 plus, uh, well, I guess it was free shipping on this. And then this vintage teething ring, I had a little silver bear rattle on the end. I thought it was cool. I didn't know how much it was worth. I put it at auction. Maybe I should have priced it at a buy it now. I don't know, but it went for $7.50 plus shipping. And all dogs go to heaven, animation cells. We've still got a few of these animation cells left, and one of the stragglers has now sold this is Annabelle. It sold for $30.14 free shipping. I think that was an offer I sent out for $5 or 5%, excuse me, 5% off of the listed price. And somebody took me out on that. Uh, these tend to come in about five and a half ounces. So it's a pretty cheap ship once it's all put together. Barbie's California Dream Midge, $29.47 plus shipping. And then Jamaican Barbie, $18.75 plus shipping. That again from the Dolls of the World. And I picked up some multiples of some of these, which makes it even better money because you only have to create one listing. Now I'm taking 
new photos each time. I am only listing one of them. When one sells, I take new photos of the other box because there's slight differences in the, the box condition. But I already have my listing created. So I snap six photos and the listing's up very, very quickly. So Jamaican Barbie sold for $18.75 plus shipping. And then the GameCube memory card. This one sold very fast. If you saw the unboxing video from the the mystery box that I got from Josh, Harry Tornado. This was the first thing that I listed out of that box. The first thing that sold. It sold for $14.40. Free shipping, but again, very, very light. Lights and Lace Barbie. This one again going international. It's going to the UK for $31.89. Great British pounds. And then we sold Marilyn Monroe. This one for $50.24 plus international shipping to Sweden. Now we got a couple going to France. These are actually going to the same buyer. They just bought them in two different transactions, actually through two different methods, interestingly. One through my web interpret listing and one through my U.S. listing that's shipping it to them through the eBay system. So I'm not sure why they found one one way and one the other, but it's money in my pocket either way. Puerto Rican Barbie sold for $18.75 plus shipping. And then Jamaican Barbie. You might recognize her, $32, and actually $32.49 euros is what that sold for. Both of those going to France. Fun to dress Barbie, $18.99 plus shipping. And then this stamp pad, we picked this up this last summer at a garage sale for a buck, and they sent me an offer for $13, free shipping, and I took that. Shipping was like $4.50 or something on that, so again, couple dollars. These little sales do add up, guys, and they're very easy. I like I like picking up things that are very easy to store and to photograph and list and ship. The things that are fast, you might not make a lot of money on them, but if you add them all up over, say, you're, you're figuring out how much you're getting paid an hour to ship out stuff like this, it's pretty high because it doesn't take any time. You haven't seen this video yet. I actually found a surprise garage sale the other day. In the snow, it's like one degree right now while I'm filming this. Uh, I found a garage sale. It, crazy. And I went in and I got a ridiculous amount of stuff for a ridiculous total. You'll see that coming up. But this paid for like two-thirds of what I spent for the whole thing. This Aladdin Platinum version, Platinum Edition VHS tape. So, And this actually, I'm nothing in. I bought a couple other things and she said, oh, you need to take these then. Okay, um, $16.39 plus media mail shipping. Our 888 Lots Pet Products continues to pay off, mostly smalls that are left. This flea and tick collar for $7.49, free shipping. And another autograph, this an 8x10 of Dante Bosco. He played Rufio in Hook. There he is right there with, uh, with Robin Williams, of course. This is an offer I sent out, $15.24 plus shipping. The Cobra BioCell head cover. Again, one of these head covers that we got for free. This is a hybrid cover. It sold for $8.49 plus shipping. Then another thing we got out of the Harry Tornado box is Logitech Harmony Companion. This sold very quickly, $70.34 plus. They paid, it was $20 or $23 international shipping. This through the standard international on eBay. Uh, it's going to Hong Kong. I think that might be the first thing I've sold to Hong Kong. So that's pretty cool. So all in, they're like 90 bucks. A good sale. And I, I thought that was a great sale to cap off the night. And then I got a message from a buyer and said, hey, here's an offer on this one item, but will you combine shipping? Of course I'll combine shipping. I always combine shipping. If somebody asks you if you'll combine shipping, do it. That means they're going to buy multiple things. So I said, yeah. We'll do that. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll send you, you know, you send me an offer because I have uh, I have it set up for eBay to require immediate pay. The workaround for that on eBay for buyers is if they accept or send an offer that you you then accept, they don't have to pay immediately. It's generally a frustrating thing, but in this situation, it works out well because I said, you know what? I will send you an offer on the ones that don't have offer enabled. Just send me a message on them of what your offer is or the ones that have it enabled. Send me a message because some of them I, I didn't put an offer enabled on some of these Barbies because then I get offer after offer after offer. And some of them I'm like, you know what? This is what it sells for. I'm going to leave it there. So that's what we did. And he sent an offer on one and I accepted it. He sent an offer on another and I accepted it. And then another one, 
then another one, then a message with an offer that I then replied. And, and I counted on a few of them, added a couple bucks. By the end of it, guys, it just kept coming. We had one after another, after another, after another. By the end of it, he had purchased 13 Barbies. That box that we had in the thumbnail was filled to the top with Barbies. That actually came with originally four rolls of bubble wrap in it. And I get like 700 feet of, I mean, it's a lot of bubble wrap. And that box was full. It turned out to be 15 pounds, just under 15 pounds of Barbie. So let's run through all of these. All told, 400 and let me look here, $420 plus just under $56. FedEx shipping gave us a great discount, $55.92 for shipping from Montana to Florida. I think that's pretty good for a 15 pound oversized box. So fantastic rate through FedEx there. It was like 55% off. Way to go FedEx slash eBay partnership on that one. But let's take a look at the ones that sold. He picked up the Jamaican Barbie. He picked up Puerto Rican Barbie. We got Dentist Barbie going out. Perfect Pink Teresa. Cool Blue Barbie. I think I have another one of those to now list. Uh, the Scarlet O'Hara, this this is the barbecue dress, the white and green dress. And then we've got the drapery dress. So both gone with the wind. Scarlet's are out the door. And then working out Barbie, they picked up. And then he sent me an offer on one of my police Barbies. I accepted that and I had two of them. He sent me an offer on the other one. So I think maybe he, maybe they have a, a store, like an actual storefront, and they can sell these for profit because I don't know why you would want two of the same. A collector typically doesn't pick up duplicate. I, I don't know. But I'm not going to question because I was giving him a pretty good deal on these, but I was also selling a lot of these and they are 100% profit. So yeah, we were going to work a deal with him. So he picked up two of the police Barbies and then he picked up this uh, midge, this Florida vacation midge, and then another fun to dress Barbie going out to them. And then he picked up the Gone with the Wind Maid. That one, not a Barbie, but a really cool doll. So like I said, all in $420 plus he paid shipping. So he didn't wipe me out of my Barbies, but he came close. I only have a handful left, so I'm not really having to worry about storage on these things. They're moving out quick. And I think we might be going back. We're going to see if I can find some more. I feel like I'm picking the pile pretty clean on these Barbies in terms of the ones that have high resale, both value and turnover. But uh, there's got to still be more there. I know there's more there, and we're working on a great relationship with uh, with myself and with Miss Donna. So I'm excited about that. We might be going back. So you may keep seeing Barbies, but now you're not going to see any for the next couple of days because we're pretty much out. So that's what sold. Thanks for sticking with me. I know that was a lot, but we also do have that giveaway. So let's jump to the giveaway screen and we'll find out who wins the t-shirt. Okay, guys, it is time to pick a winner. We're doing a giveaway of the Mountain Man Treasure t-shirt. All you had to do was comment on one of our previous What Sold videos, a particular video on here. I've put the link in here. I want you guys to see that. There's the URL to the video. I've told it to filter duplicate users. And look, I've even excluded my name on there. So we've got excluded users. And uh, it looks like we've got 85 unique comments. And so now... We just need to go over here. And there it is. I couldn't find it. All right. So now we just have to go over and pick a winner. Is it start or start now? What do you guys think? Let's hit start. There we go. And our winner is Nita J. Hi, all from Texas. Great video, Nita. Thank you for watching. We spent almost a decade in Texas, or I did anyway. My daughter was born in Texas. She is an official Texan. So, uh, Nita, thank you so much for watching and for commenting, and you are our winner. So, I will uh, reply to your comment on there, and then hopefully you're watching this. Uh, we'll give Nita some time to get back a hold of me. And we need to get a size and a mailing address and all that. And I will ship that off to her. If we don't hear from Nita, well, we may have another winner.
coming up. So thank you for everybody that entered. I mean, 80, what was it, 85 people? That's awesome. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. We got a lot of comments on there, and I heard from a lot of people uh, that watch the videos. And I'm really glad that people are watching these videos and they're getting something out of them. Uh, I, I, we had actually planned to do a couple of things here this last week that we didn't get to. So I'm going to see if we can work that in this week, show you a little bit about an app that I think is very helpful, especially for new resellers to determine whether they should put things at auction or whether they should do it, buy it now. We're, we're going to dig into that app and I'm going to see if I can get into uh, showing you how to get white backgrounds for your photos as well. Two uh, very, very useful to tools and very, very easy to do and free. So that's what we've got for you today, guys. I sure appreciate you tuning in. Once again, the, the merch link is down below. I actually threw a couple of Barbies up there because people were curious about maybe getting their hands on a couple. I threw two up that I thought were really, really cool. So if you want to get down below, there's a couple of Barbies. And then I threw a couple of small lots of vintage Daredevil comics up there as well. So if you're interested in either of those, those are in the link store. We might start putting some... Uh, some reseller lots in there. If you guys are interested, let me know. I've got a whole pile of stuff back here and I'm just, I'm, I'm not getting to it. And a lot of it is good stuff. I just I haven't had a chance. I got so much and I keep finding new stuff. So we might put together some wholesale reseller boxes if you want to get like a mystery box or I could lay it all out there and uh, you could see. I mean, I don't know. You tell me what you want to do. And if you're interested in that, let me know uh, in the comments down below. Meanwhile, uh, hit that thumb for me. I sure appreciate that. The notification bell. And that's all I got. See you next time. Bye, guys.